Okay, now, Brad, in this section, we're going to talk about communication with spacecraft. Now, this is kind of important. <laughs> um, I mean, if it's a robot spacecraft, you have to give it instructions. If yep. you want to get the data back, if it's a communication satellite, you clearly need to send signals up and get them back from it. So, I mean, I, I suppose there are spacecraft that could just be sent out and not talk to them. But I mean, uh, even Voyager, the one that has just gone to the edge of the solar system or past it, we still talk to. So how do you get signals to and from a spacecraft that's you know, millions of kilometers out there. I mean, you can't dangle a fiber optic <laughs> cable behind it. You can't send it letters. So presumably we're going to have to use some sort of um, electromagnetic communication. Exactly. And, and I think this is, as you said, a key principle in terms of space and technology, whether it's for sending people to Mars, looking down at Earth, or, or sending humans elsewhere. Now, as you said, it involves a lot of technology. And now the principle goes back to radio waves and radio astronomy and even radar. Uh, it's the same kind of concept whether we're trying to look at a pulsar, a, a rapidly rotating star uh, millions of light years away or talking to something on Mars. We need to transmit this data via electromagnetic waves. And this is essentially what we're going to be focusing on this section. I guess it's kind of three ways. I mean, we have to send signals yep. up to control these things. They want to send their data back. And often they need to talk to each other. Exactly. There's no point of putting something on Mars and not getting the data back. And if we <laughs> lots of beautiful pictures <laughs> sitting on the hard drive on Mars. <laughs> exactly. Because we're not going to be retrieving that. Mm. And even, in fact, in low Earth orbit, as we talk about when we talk about satellite orbits, even that is so critical. We have to get that information back. Once something is up in space, it pretty much physically doesn't come back to Earth. So the only way to get that information and, as you said, control it is via getting these signals back in space. And this is often the limitation for these missions. Uh, a lot of astronomy missions, for sure, they take far more data than they can ever download. Um, but even like if you're an Earth observation satellite you know, taking pictures of you know, war zones or plant growth or whatever it might be, Unless you can get the data back down to Earth, someone can analyze it, there's no point. Exactly. And that's often the bottleneck. You can take data much faster on modern spacecraft than you can ever download to the Earth. And that's right. And this is why it's such an important thing, because there's so many different challenges and technical bits we have to understand. And this is kind of what we're going to explore. We'll talk a little bit about how it just physically works from the radiation and radio wave standpoint. But radio telescopes aren't these giant black boxes, right? We actually understand what's going on in them. Yes, so we have to uh, sort of talk about the wavelengths we're using and then the instruments we use. And sometimes it can just be a wire on a roof. Uh, but if you're trying to communicate with something that's past Pluto, a wire on a roof is not going to cut the mustard. That's right. So we're going to require a couple of different techniques. And that requires instrumentation, the way we build them, and the way they operate. But this also presents interesting issues and challenges, some physical, some more nefarious, let's say. Okay. And, but there's also a lot of work we're doing to improve this, because as we talked about recently, we want to send humans to Mars, we want to potentially mine asteroids, explore the moon. Now, this is going to be sending far more data back than we pretty much ever have. So we have to invent new ways of just getting around these issues and challenges, but meeting the needs of our data-hungry space world. Okay, so let's start off with the electromagnetic radiation. Yep, sounds good. So uh, uh, we'll talk about that in the next video. Yep.